April 12th, 2020. Ever since the formation of the Powder Pelago not long ago, I felt like it was soon time for a new visit. Due to the world currently experiencing a threatening pandemic, I have since taken up refuge on the island. As usual, everyone told me stories that happened while I was away. Dudley had quite a funny tale. This is a story that not everybody will find to be. A strange incident occurred yesterday afternoon where multiple victims slipped one after another on a banana peel. <laughs> the only witness be repeated banana slippers before passing out from laughing too much. Wow. One victim, Ross, said one after another, it was horrible. <laughs> we lost some idea of their opinions. Hey, is anybody watching? Asked Pink. That's really happy news. Added Boris dumbly. Once that was over, I had a nice chat with Pink, along with some of the other guys in the cafe. What do you think the girls talk about when they get together? I'd love to know. <laughs> Did you hear? Oh, oh never mind. Mm, keeping secrets. I think I need to work out more. Really? I need bigger guns too. What? <laughs> oh, right. Muscles. Right. I've been trying to learn how to shoot laser beams from my fingers, but I still can't do it. <laughs> right. How long do you think it takes to learn? What does happiness mean, anyway? I wish I had something to give me a challenge. How about a girl? Ooh. How about studying something? How about a sport? Yeah, all good choices. Is there any way to get taller? <laughs> You're tall enough already. Yeah. Your height is fine. You're not exactly short anyway. <laughs> I heard that drinking Panatoli extract is really good for you. Really? I heard that too. Really? No way. <laughs> I wouldn't know. I'm really into collecting bowling balls. Oh, really? Never to heard tell of that. The truth, so do I. <laughs> really? I like bowling balls too. Yeah. Bowling's fun. Afterwards, I went to check on how the last new arrivals were doing. Lion was quite talkative. I always get my magazines from the back of the shelf. He said. I must admit that I kind of do the same. It's actually quite fascinating what you can find. After that, he wanted me to check out a funny face that he'd been working on. While not great, I still encouraged him to do his best. Next up, I went to see Boris. He was pretty hungry, so I gave him a pork pie, which was gobbled down quickly. Boo, meanwhile, was flying up and down the beach at varying speeds. I then heard the angry cries of Peggy Quinn from her home. Apparently, me and her got into an argument over her seafood deliveries. I went over to her place and gave her a catchphrase to cheer her up. Quack. She honked out in delight. I'm sorry about what happened. She added. I'm sorry too. I replied to her. Problem solved. Afterwards, I passed Orca and Shark. Who were having a very peculiar this conversation. Is just between you and me, but uh, Orca. If you sneeze without covering your mouth, your brain will come out of your nose. <laughs> Confirmed. <laughs> well, that was out there. Yeah, actually, I just made it up. Shark admitted that he wanted to make friends with Mouse. Cautiously, I helped him out, and the pair of them got along nicely. It was soon time for a new group of residents to join us on the island. And thanks to Orville and Wilbur's interconnected airport, we got the chance to meet them. To my surprise, it was another group of small beings. First off, there was a green pig. An alarming sight to see. I heard rumors of these pigs making enemies out of the angry birds. Angry 
it. I think I could improve this island if I became the boss. He snorted. I'll keep this one under observation, as I had secretly done so with Boo. Next, there was Garfield Arbuckle. Yes, that's right. The Garfield the Cat Arbuckle. My name is Garfield. I like to do things my own way. He said smugly. Finally, there was a little green frog. Name's Frog. I do things my way, but I care about others too. He croaked. It seems this frog guy is the nicest of these newcomers. Either way, I led them to their new living quarters in the apartment building. I decided to have one last look into someone's problem. It was Psyduck. Psyduck asked me to look into his head. Inside, I found a broken light bulb. I tried my best to hold in my laughter. With my job done, I decided to take my leave and return another day. Hopefully, once COVID-19 is gone, I can take it easy again and document these islanders' lives a little better. To be continued.